What's up, Buck fans? We're back yet again. Mark Ramirez is here, and Michael Plus is joined with me as always. And today we get to go over Shaquille Barrett, the one-year wonder for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who just blew up everything he did for his career. But before we look into his season, let's talk about what he did overall. He signed with the Bucks $5 million for that one-year contract. Overall, in 61 games, only had 14 sacks with the Denver Broncos. Came over as a 26-year-old, undrafted, and then this guy goes all-world and pulls off a 19-and-a-half sack season. Plus, go a little bit more in-depth. Tell the people what they saw from Shaquille Barrett. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe I remember us, you know, talking about this move and, you know, when it's made and... You know, we didn't really expect what we saw last season. I think most Bucks fans were like, okay, yeah, he's going to provide some production. He's going to add, you know, maybe seven, eight sacks at, at the most. Um, you know, kind of around that that kind of average that he's been averaging, you know, right around five, you know, to maybe seven sacks and, and just be a, a, a nice addition. But, man, I mean, I mean, we kind of looked over the tape, you know, before he, you know, played last year, and you could see the potential – just really wasn't used a lot because of said, you know, Bradley Chubb and Von Miller uh, above him. But yeah, I mean, Jason Light struck gold again with an undrafted guy, and and Shaq Barry did a lot to help himself, and he's going to get a big time contract coming up here, and hopefully it's with the Buccaneers. Yeah, I mean, he's got that franchise tag, but let's right. hope it's a bigger one moving forward. But other than that, let's break him down. Nineteen and a half sack guys, let's go do it. All right, guys, so we're going over all 19 and a half sacks from Shaquille Barrett. And this first one may have been pretty much the easiest one all year. Easy release comes over. Garoppolo ends up on his ass. But let's check Shaquille Barrett coming in. Times the snap perfectly. Gets to the running back. Down Garoppolo. Can you make it any easier? No, that's pretty simple. I mean, he just, yeah, he just wins off the snap. And, uh, yeah, no one's able to pick him up. Looks like they're running some type of counters play action here and 75 not going to get to Shaq Barrett <laughs> so yeah right. easy win yep well, that's number one guys what's number two Carolina after we lost against 49ers 60 did not have a good game no so pretty much what he's winning with here gets under the arm of that left tackle clears it I loved how he could bend so easy like his torso is up but his legs are Bent all the way, keeps going through, gets that rip, keeps running through. Down goes Cam. Cam really found out who Shaq Barrett was this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, again, that's just a nice move. And, again, it's, you know, Shaq, this is kind of his go-to move. He's going to do, like, an outside jab step here. He's going to rip, you know, through the arms and just continues to drive his legs. You'll see it here again. Yep. Ooh. Just, just had it working. Move. Yeah, had it working against 60, and he just couldn't do anything to stop it. Just stop that. And another thing I wanted to touch on is look always. I mean, this is a Shaquille Barrett video, but watch Vita Vea always commanding two people. I mean, based on that, that's why Shaq even mentioned it multiple times throughout the season. He had opportunities to eat because Vita Vea and Dominican Sue were always doubled occupying people. So Shaq can do moves like this pull those arms down, make the left tackle reach, dip under, rip, and start pushing through to get that sack. <laughs> Keep going on. Shaq coming in, just bull rushes, pulls him back. Yeah, this oh. one is he does kind of like a delay here and does a great job of, again, just pushing the guy back. Again, look who's right next to him. Beat yep. Ndamukong Sue, occupying two guys. Vita left tackle's man. like, oops. Vita Vea occupying two guys. I mean, again, I just touched on it. Sue's going to get two. Vita Vea getting two. Pretty much he's just letting the big guys do all the work and then come in, bulldoze them. You think Shaq Barrett's just speed? No. Put him down. Vita Vea getting last in there too. <laughs> <laughs> and then this isn't a sack, but this is before that fourth and one play at the end of the game in Carolina. If he doesn't get there this fast, like, look how fast he gets in there. Again, that little dip, hesitation, rip. If he doesn't get there to throw off that play, I mean, that could have been a touchdown. End of the game, and we lose. But Shaq Barrett, again, hesitation, push that arm down, dip, rip, 
right into Cam's face. Loved it. All right, against the Gi Giants, another one. He just destroyed them left and right. Yeah, this was probably his, his, by far his best game um, against the Giants. I believe he had four sacks in this one, so he was all over the place. Yeah, he can go inside too. Goes through two defenders coming in. Daniel Jones fumble that ball. Nassib there to get pick it up. Poor Nassib. I'm going to miss him. <laughs> but yeah, just again, not just speed. He has enough to counter inside, get through two guys, and get to the quarterback. Yeah, as you watch these sacks, I mean, you'll see, I mean, his legs just never stop. And that's what really helps him win. I mean, his legs are always moving. I mean, it helps to have moves like this. I mean, when you can do a spin move, you know, you set up that outside and you can mm. go back inside like that. You get to the quarterback very quick. And I like, I like how he, he finishes very violently. Like, he's always hitting hard. Hell yeah. I mean, that, it didn't count as a sack, but I just had to put it in. That's nasty. Right. I thought this was a fumble, but I don't think they gave it no. to us. Yeah, it was stupid. It should have been a fumble. Mm -hmm. But like, what's cool? We 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 didn't mention it in the beginning, but he was doing this stuff in preseason game four. Right. Like he was still, like, he may have not have made the team, but doing stuff like that consistently, he was competing against Noah Spence, and I think we chose the right guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, here again, it's just another effort sack. Again, he's not really winning, you know, one on one against his guy, but he finds a way to to get to the quarterback. Yeah, the big key is Carl Nassip, you know, just manhandling <laughs> his dude. And again, this is you know team defense, and Shaq finds a way to yep. finish it, and he's just a little bit quicker than Nassip was on that one. Well, Nassip pretty much should have gotten half a sack, but right, there's been many a times where you're gonna see Shaq Barrett did just feed off of other people's like play. I mean, he's mm -hmm. just finishing. That's what you want. You don't want whiffs. You want a guy to finish. And he did that very well last year. This is just all him. Like that's. Yeah. Again, wow. he does. He's shown this move multiple times already. Um, he's going to do a quick outside step to the, to the right. And he's just going to win with his hands and, and speed here. Again, does a nice job stabbing and ripping under. Gets the offensive tackle off balance. It's an easy win. I love this little hesitation kick. Kick! Yeah. <laughs> In mm -hmm. the air. Guy's going to yeah. try and reach to push him. Yeah, you see his hand placement. Rip, right? Yeah. yeah. And when we mean rip, we mean this arm here is going to come through right. the offensive lineman's arms just to yeah. get him off of his base, and they keep driving through. Mm -hmm. Leverage, technique. He just did it all very, very well last year. Right. Yeah. Basically, it's, he's pulling those arms forward, and then he's going to rip underneath through them. Um, this was just here again. Disgusting. He shows his versatility here. He can go outside or inside. Does a great job there, and well, comes back to the outside. Right. Makes a bad fall, and then just yeah continues to show the effort. This one I think was a fumble. Yeah. And we got the ball back. Just offensive lineman on skates. So he gives that inside move. Offensive lineman's like, oh, hell, he didn't go outside, so I got to commit to the inside. Mm -hmm. Totally off base. Shaq just pushes him to the side. Right. You can see here, he's pretty much oh, looking back. He's on the ground. He's like, oh, God, what did I do? <laughs> Keep going. Shaq's going through the progression. Still, he's like, what are you trying to block me for? Gets the ball, fumble, and still look at his hustle to go after that ball. Mm -hmm. Very nice. LA. So there, he did a lot more than just sack the quarterback in this game. So this is right. him off the edge. I don't know what this poor guy coming at him, pushing those hands down, get his hands off away from his chest plate so he can leverage through, rip again, hustle, like just dragging that guy. <laughs> Gets to his arm. He's on the ground. Yeah. Yep. Causes an interception. Great job. This is a fourth and one play. Yeah. So this isn't a sack, but he reads it so quick off the line. He's like, they're going to have to throw this ball quick because I know my guys are coming in in the middle. Mm -hmm. There's going to be pressure coming in. So he's a heady player as well, not just a sack artist. Covers the guy quickly, gets his head around, tips it up to himself. Interception. What, what can't this guy do? Yeah, he <laughs> does everything. And, yeah, here's the finishing player here. And mm -hmm. shows that, that – uh, inside spin move you know he sets this up from earlier because he won with the outside move and able to again force another fumble 
and then big number 93 gets on it <laughs> and uh i love the uh the celebration right but that we're just... gonna see here but Look but yeah again he's just setting stop. up Dip setting hits. that move up very nice and i'm gonna sue and just watch how fast Shaq Barrett goes as this play continues. I mean, he's just booking <laughs> it. You see his mouthpiece fly. It's Love awesome. it when a fat guy scores. Yep. Oh here again, God. finishing up. You know, he's cleaning up a sack here. Again, the pressure from the inside from Carl Nassib. Shaq Barrett does a great job of, again, he keeps his head up too, which is good. So he understands where the quarterback is. And just look at all the moves he's doing. Look at all the counters. He's done. It's not just one move he's winning with. He's going to try initially with speed. Obviously, Taylor Lewan's a good left tackle. He's going to get to him. He knows that. Put on the brakes. Let him keep going because he knows he's going to have to step up in mm -hmm. the pocket. So he's going to go to space. So Shaq's just going to follow him to that space. Gets face mask in the face. Put on the brakes. Go after him. And then what? Finish. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Forced another fumble, it looked like. Yep. Here we are to Seattle game. Again, he's just... He wins there. Again, Bo Allen did most of it here, but again, Shaq Bear does a great job of just bullying the tight end here. Yeah. And he's going to finish the sack. I, I bet he was like, how are you going to put this guy on me? <laughs> again, just like Nassib walk the tight end back. Right. This is a half sack, guys. So at least he got half of it. <laughs> Bo Allen did do all the work. Another guy we're going to miss. But keep going against finally Kyler Murray getting him on the damn ground. I don't know how many times Shaq was in the backfield in this game. Just Kyler uh, Murray so small and shifty, it's hard to bring him down. Yeah, this was another one I think he could have probably had, yeah, maybe three or four sacks. But yeah, here he finds a way to finish. And again, using that go to move that he has. Outside, pushing those arms down. Once he has control of that, he brings that inside arm around, rips through while well, he's being held there. Mm -hmm. Just finishes with speed. Yeah, guys, you see a common theme here. You see the guys he goes up against are always on the ground. <laughs> so this wasn't a sack. I just put this in there because look how much he's getting pushed around here, but still staying on his base. Power punch by the right tackle, still moving forward where he needs to go, towards pushing the pocket. Guy's still pushing, still not getting thrown off his base, still pushing. I mean, leveraging with that foot, not falling down. Still cutting. I mean, the right tackle should be done right now. But he's still having to work because Jack Barrett does not go damn down and forces an errant throw, throw in the back of the end zone. So, Shaq did it all. And there's the patented move. And the JPP celebrating before it even happens. <laughs> but again, yeah, you watch it in slow-mo. He does this little hesitation, kick, push that arm down of the offensive lineman. So, the offensive lineman is going to try and reach. He's going to knock that thing down. Shaq's going to keep going through it. And then rip that inside arm through. So you see his inside arm came through. Just to keep leveraging to push through. He knows he's got him beat. JPP throwing that arm up. Mm -hmm. Strip sack. I think Matt Ryan landed on it. I'll let you go through this one. Jacksonville, he was another good game. Yeah, again, he's just he's just winning. I mean, he just wins his one-on-ones. Um takes he took advantage of his opportunities and again you know he just he found something that was working and he knows how to do it very well again pushing down the arms he's just fighting through here and like i said his legs are always moving so yeah it's very hard for him to to get him stopped and he's always finding his way and you you watch his angle pursuit it look you know it's always towards the quarterback you know it's not going around the quarterback it's always a direct path and he does a great job of doing that. Yeah, they call it running the arc. Yep. And he's never running, pushed off that base. He's always running where he needs to go, forcing the issue, making the offensive lineman work, and he's never pushed back. Like you said, like his drive's pushing forward, he's bending mm -hmm. at the waist, but his legs still stay in that arc. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, no extra steps. Easy touchdown for Devin White. And here we go, coming off the edge this time. Oh, he just – Vita Vea does the work. I put this one on Twitter. So Vita yeah. Vea. He should have got the sack. My big man here just bulldozes this left guard into the pocket. Excuse me, excuse me. And then v Barrett's like, just do some work. I mean, just stand here, and then I'll mm -hmm. come in and feed up later, finishing. Mm -hmm. 
God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, here he is against the Colts. The, uh, it's not a Colts. sack, but again, heady play. Watch him. I'll point it out again. He's right here. He's going to read. Mm. It's a run. The wide receiver is going to try and come down on him. He just does a little spin move to beat him outside. Right. Very nice play here. Try to come down. What? That nifty little spin move. Get the hell off me. Get after the running back. God. Well rounded player. Mm hmm. And coming off the edge. Jeez. Oh, watch William Golson's little dance move at the end of this. But do you know who he's beating right here? That's Joe Haig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. New Buccaneer learning right. what Shaq Barrett can do immediately. Same move he's been doing. Right. And he was an extra blocker, I believe. He did his best. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so, again, this is very tough. One, two, three guys here to help block. And this is the respect he got later in the season. Tight end, mm-hmm. okay, make him line up that far out. Joe Haig's out there to help out. Extra offensive lineman, it still didn't matter. And then let's check this little dance move. <laughs> Stupid. And winning with speed, dip, rip, and finish. Yeah. yeah. Repetitive, guys, right? Repetitive. But it just looks so damn good. Leverage mm-hmm. again, hips, waist. The bend you see in his body, his legs are still pushing this way, but his body is still upright. It's cool to see in slow mo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, he just he knew what to win with. But what you like about his game is he'll always you know switch it up. Um, again, here, I mean, this is <laughs> determination. I mean, he's just fighting through two guys. Um, again, they try to put a tight end and a running back on him, and really that's not going to work. I mean, he's just going to find ways to to get through these guys. I mean, he gets through them with, you know, one arm on each. Just keep, continues to go. Yeah, so like what you saw Nassib do the tight end earlier, yeah. one arms him, stands him up, push him back. You're not going to stop Shaq Barrett. And then gets right in between both. Down. Vita Vea again, flipping. <laughs> again, yeah. Vita Vea is a, a big cause on that one too as well. Vita Vea right here. again. <laughs> Here he could have had a sack. Yep. <laughs> I mean, just what he's up next, guys. So be prepared to see Vita Vea's impact on this defense. But mm. Shaq Barrett's the main man on this 19 and a half sack season. Dipping, ripping, face mask again, getting hands off of him. Vita Vea just flushes him out. And Bruce Arians said this in the beginning of the season. He wants the middle guys to make the job easier for the guys on the outside. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much what Vita Vea did. If you want to one Vita Vea, it's going to be a bad day for you. Shaq just cleaning it up. Mm-hmm. I think this is the last one on the, on the year here. Could yeah, he have found that. an easier sack? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, maybe the first and last <laughs> yeah. were the easiest. Right. Yeah, this one, again, it gets it's pretty simple. Just go get the guy. Yep. And that's what he did. <laughs> it was a blown assignment. Yeah, Matt Ryan knew he was done, so... But over, overall, 19 and a half sack, guys. I hope you like that little video. Little. It's going to be a long one. But overall, Shaq, you hope he can sign a long-term contract here. I mean, his impact was obvious. I, I think this is the best year, like I said, in a prior live stream. Best sack season you've seen from a line, lineman in Buccaneer history. Think about that. Warren Sapp, Simeon Rice, and he topped them all. Plus, last thoughts. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, this is a guy that I think is just coming into his own. I think he still can continue to improve on, you know, little things, and that's going to even make him a better player, um, which is, I mean, it's crazy to say. He's already really good against the run, and we didn't really show that in this video, but, I mean, he's just overall awareness is fantastic, and uh, he's just going to be fun to watch, and I hope he's a buck for a very long time. And with that said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff for us. And until the next one.